Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I'm coming at you with what will hopefully be part two and the last of the vacation haul. So this is what I will call food related items and gifts that I either purchased or was gifted. I don't know why I said it just like that because it was weird, but it was. So these are either things that were purchases or gifts. And again, I will say, um, I only see my family once a year, so I got birthday presents in conjunction with some of this stuff. And uh, I think most of it, to be honest, is probably mostly my purchases because I did get stuck in the Minneapolis airport and what better thing to do than to buy local Minneapolis products, so, or local Minnesota products. And I gotta say, Minnesota makes good cheese. I don't have any here, but I've tried it and I love going to Zerdix. When I go to the Twin Cities, they have some really good like international cheeses, but then I've tried, is it Zerdix? There's a place in Minneapolis, if you know, and you're watching this, and particularly, maybe Marty will know, I don't know. I swear there's like a local place there that has Minnesota and cheeses and they're really good. And I can't think of the name of it. But if you know, in the comment section, let, let me know. I'm gonna talk about, this is, <laughs> this I picked up in duty free and then just all over the freaking place in, in there. Cause if you've never been in the Minneapolis airport, I really like the layout. It's probably cause it's the one I go through the most because it's the hub from where I live. So I always go through there in general if I'm leaving from where I currently live. Anyway, so I went through duty, duty three, duty three, duty free, and I picked up a couple of things. So this is Sweet Jewels. I've never heard of this brand, but it is a Minnesotan brand. That's my understanding. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, y'all. Uh, but these are the Jewels of Paris, and I picked up this, and these are ridiculously expensive, I feel like, but it was in the airport, so that's my expectation. And then I also picked up their Fleur de Sel, which is the caramel. And then when I was there, I picked up these honey bonbons from Mademoiselle Miel. Miel? Anyways, so if you've heard of or know of any of these companies, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be really excited to learn more about them because I just think it's really cool when you find local brands that do like really groovy, like groovy, really cool like artisan stuff. So that leads me to Annie B's Handmade Caramels. I think this is a Minnesota, Kellogg, Minnesota. So it's just a little variety pack that I picked up. I did not get this in duty free, which is why this costs as much. I'm really excited to try these. You might notice I like caramels. You might also notice that if you followed my Instagram, <laughs> I've been obsessively making like all different kinds of caramels, like fruit caramels, raspberry, blueberry, blackberry, boysenberry, regular butterscotch, you name it, I've been trying it. So, and then I picked up, this is, I think, I think this is a local brand to Minnesota. Yes, it says it's Valley. This is Abdallah. And I will say, if you go through Wall, South Dakota and you stop at Wall Drug, which if you're like in the Midwest or Southern Plains or in the Plains, and you're on your way to Rushmore, headed east to west, it should be known by everybody that you stop at Wall Drug. Anyways, they carry some of the Abdallah candy. I didn't like the chocolates, but I'm really hopeful about these caramels. So I got this, I got butter rum, and then I got caramel apples. So I got, this is like a variety pack, and it's got their pecan, um, it's got their, I think this is like vanilla nougat or butter crunch or something, and then chocolate, which I was really excited, and some others. And I was like, I might even do like a whole separate video tasting all these caramels. I don't know. You guys let me know what you're interested in. And then, oh, Duty Free there was really nice. And they had like all these like really like cool little like old like European candy bars, the minis. And so she let me have two of them. She's like, she's like, oh, have you ever tried Bounty? I was like, no, I've heard of it though. She's like, you've got to try it. It's really good. I was like, okay, thank you. So she was really sweet. So I, I swear Minnesotans are some of the nicest people. When I go there, I always feel like they're the nicest people. But I, you know, I could be wrong. I don't know. I doubt it, but... Anyways, and then I got lots of candy in my stocking from the nieces and the nephews and stuff. So I got some Snickers and some Kit Kats and stuff, which is really funny because I made homemade Snickers and I put it all in their stockings. So I... Oh, wait, hold on. I have some in my freezer because um, I promised to send some to one of my friends. Hold on. I'll get it and I'll be right back. So I did a vanilla nougat with dark chocolate in it and then I made a salted caramel like a really soft salted caramel with uh, unsalted peanuts and it's based off of the recipe from little bit of sweets anyhow so this is what it looked like I feel like the lighting in here is like super poopy today so y'all I'm sorry 
Let me see if I can adjust it. Anyway, so I just, that's slightly better, yeah. So I've adjusted lighting, that's slightly better. Um, so I, you know, had a lot of fun making it. Hopefully everyone will enjoy it. From what I've heard, they've quite enjoyed it. Sorry about the crinkling, but that it was driving me nuts, the paper being there. And then I was able to go down to Orlando with my niece and my older brother and my mom. I really wanted to take my nephew, but he had to help dad on the farm that day, unfortunately. And so we went to my nephew's favorite, one of my nephew's favorite places to go is to go to Ghirardelli. And so I bought a whole bunch of Ghirardelli chocolates because they have like all the Ghirardellis that you can't necessarily get throughout the year. And they have different flavors that like are much harder to find unless you order them from online and you can buy like a bulk bag. So I just purchased some for him and I got these for me and then I got myself. I fell in love with winter mint. I had never tried it. They were giving it out as samples and she was, she also had the caramel. I was like, oh, can I get the caramel? She's like, I have to give out this and then I can start on the other basket. I was like, oh, bummer. So I fell in love with this. Uh, this is not gonna last me the year I feel like, but it might. My luck is I'll put it in the freezer and forget about it. And <laughs> it will last me the year because I won't eat it. Um, this is milk chocolate vanilla caramel and then the dark chocolate raspberry. And I will say when I went to Vegas, they also have a Ghirardelli store there and I don't know who has a better variety. Oh, and I picked up the pumpkin caramel spice. Caramel, yeah, the pumpkin spice caramel one. It was pretty good, but it was kind of already melted. That was my pro, it just wasn't, it wasn't cooperating. It wasn't cooperating, so. Okay, there's gonna be a theme here. You're gonna know this. So I go through three to five pounds of this Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt, FYI. Just so you know, if you take it through in your carry-on luggage, they will open it and test it. That is all. I'm like, it's not such a bad thing, so I'd rather them be safe than not, but I'm like, ah, oh. like I have sprinkles. Anyway, so I got three of these containers. There's another one that I didn't put in my carry-on. I put it in my check luggage, but my check luggage was already pushing 50 pounds, so that was a no-go. And then my brother got me some tea because I quite like to try different teas. Um, so this is chocolate chai, coconut chai, caramel chai, and then hazelnut chai. So I'm excited to try that. And then I got myself a new phone because my other one I'd had for like three or four three years or so and it was crashing constantly so I decided I I made the switch to iPhone and it hasn't been bad so far knock on wood because I figure if I have to pay that much for a phone either way I'm gonna pay for the one that's gonna last the longest so sorry Android so I picked up this small panettone from Trader Joe's because I like panettone and then I got this for a Christmas present from one of my, from my brother, one of my brothers. I have, I have a couple, sorry. So I'm just going to say for my brother so you don't know which one. It'll just be a surprise. Um, this is Crystal Flakes. It's a natural sea salt with wild garlic. I have been wanting to try wild garlic for quite a while. So this way I get the flavor and all the yumminess without having to hunt up some wild garlic because that stuff can be expensive to find when it's in season. And I love these big flakes for finishing. So it'll be good on like a stick or something. I picked these up to travel with. I tried the black olive one and I've tried like not this brand but another brand and I really liked it. But I was the Kalamata one I didn't really like. So I'm a little leery of this one. But this one is uh, marinated with lemon, 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 lemon and oregano. And then when I was at home, I went to Sam's Club <laughs> with my mom. I know, it's exciting. You're like, Sam's Club because I don't have these things. I don't have Trader Joe's. I don't have a fresh market which is where I got this or Whole Foods or whatever you want to call those places. So I'm going to stock up when I go home because I'm already having to pay for luggage to go back. I might as well make it as full as possible which I totally did. So I like how do we turn this around the right way? Milk, uh, milk chocolate. I can't see this with the camera apparently I'm having issues today. Milk chocolate, they're um, baking chips and then the 60% bittersweet. I use this bittersweet to enrobe these candy bars. Um, these are really good for enrobing. These are not so good. I haven't had any luck with these to do molded candies. Like I had a problem, a little bit of a hard time 
not well not really i had a little bit of a hard time getting it out and you know it was okay it, was, it wasn't too bad but it wasn't the easiest and then i picked up some more of my black truffle salt from trader joe's makes the best popcorn ever and then uh, my sister got me a Turvis because Turvis is based in Florida. I think it's in Jacksonville or somewhere like that. So they went to the Turvis store, the Turvis company store, whatever. And then they got me some little Reese's peanut butter bells because Reese's is, used to be one of my favorite candies um, prior to surgery. I still like it, but sometimes it's really hard for me to eat candy, which is a lot of the reason I like to make my own because I can figure out what I can have versus like buying it from the grocery store and taking a chance that like maybe I'm having a good day and maybe I'm having a bad day and I don't it can be problematic sometimes um so Trader Joe's butter waffles <sighs> I love these I bought one while I bought two I bought this one and another one and I opened it and left it at my parents house and we'll just leave it at that it is no more it died a swift death <laughs> and was eating all and then my nephew my family knows my like how much I love to cook and bake and stuff so I got kitchen products as you'll see or a lot of my Christmas presents so I got this one whisk and then I got this is from my sissy my my sister um, dear sister you're forever my friend so I thought that was really sweet I was like you're trying to make me cry she really was I think she did it on purpose um, and then she knows my nerd so I got a little BB-8, um, like Star Wars Christmas tree ornament, which now I'm thinking, I'm like, why did you bring this home? Because you don't actually have like a Christmas tree to hang it on other than like a little tree. So I'm like, well, that might not have been the wisest decision. <laughs> and then I got this also from my nephew, which is a angled measuring cup, um, but it's really cool. It is top rack dishwasher safe, but it is not microwavable. Uh, well, it says do not microwave fat such as oil, butter, or margarine. So I was like, when we read that, my sister was like, that's a bummer. Because it says dishwasher safe, microwave safe. You know when you use this in a microwave most of the time, you're like trying to melt butter. Really, OXO? Because you are one of my, like one of the brands I really like. I was like, that's disappointing because I'm sure I'll accidentally forget and melt it in there. Um, then again, when I was at the flea market, I picked up some pure sugar cane syrup. It's sort of hard to get up here, as you can imagine, because we don't have sugar cane. They have sugar beets in North Dakota. Um, they don't have sugar cane or sugar beets in South Dakota that I know of. Just doesn't work here. But I was really excited when they had the sugar cane syrup because they do like to have the different invert sugars to work with. They are lots of fun. Uh, speaking of invert sugars, my favorite, one of my favorite places to go, there's a local honey store. And my sister is friends with the... Um, people that do the honey collection or have the bees or apiaris apiists whatever they're called. I got a five pound container of orange blossom honey and if I could have uh didn't think my suitcase would be so ridiculously overweight because I'm sure this is about like it's five pounds liquid but I guarantee you this is like way more than that physically um and then I got another two pounds of wildflower so I really like um this is Jerry's bees um, they're out of all Altoona, Florida. Anyways, they're real nice folks, and I, I dig it. I dig it. They're nice. They take good care of their bees, so I enjoy that. And then I got some spatulas because I was like, oh, so cute. So, like, like I said, my family knows me well. I'm really not that hard to shop for. I was like, eat, drink, and be merry. I got hello, Summer. So, because I do love all the, like, holiday e like, cheesy spatulas. I got a little pink whisk because I use whisk all the time and I bought this at the flea market. The flea market in Walda, Florida has the best kitchen store, very reasonably priced, maybe not the best kitchen store, but it's really good. Very reasonably priced. They have like commercial grade quality stuff. I mean, they even have full sheet pans. So I picked up this metal spatula um, and then I needed a new potato masher. So I got a potato masher. And then I always need these, these little like pastry brushes. They are like life. They are life. And then I wanted a new like a fish spatula is what it's called. So I've always wanted one of those and it was in my price range. And then I desperately needed an offset one, particularly the size for chocolate. I'd like one slightly larger, I think would be even better, but oh, and from the honey store, they also have honey candy. 
So it's hard candy and then it's got a honey center. It's delicious. It is my niece and nephew's, one of their favorites. And then I got a little like oven mitt because I always need these. Like I burn through probably two or three of those a year. I also got a makeup bag with my initials. I got a lot of random stuff I picked up. Uh, my brother also got me, oh, I was so excited, so excited. So I have a Ninja, so this is the coffee and spice grinder. I don't drink coffee, but I'll use this for spice like you wouldn't believe. Spice makes me nice, what? I'm so excited about this. Then I also got tongs because I always need more of these. I actually gave my friend Lisi a pair of mine, and then I don't know, gremlins come into the apartment they take them and I don't know where they go but they go somewhere I got some marshmallows in the shape of snowflakes from Star and then here's another thing of salt which you know I like particularly this diamond crystal up here I don't know why where I live particularly I've seen it in like Sioux Falls and Fargo and some other places but literally none of the stores around here carry diamond crystal and I don't really like the other ones I've tried them and I'm not a huge fan of it and then my mommy and daddy got me a microwave potato chip maker, which I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to test out here re like pretty quick, like in the next day or so, because I really want to make some chips. And then I got this from my niece. Don't worry, she's above the legal age, but it's really funny because she got me one. She got my sister, her mother, and then my other brother, one of my older brother, um, because all three of us, actually everyone in our family is really into cooking. My younger brother really loves to grill. So he's not so much like a full on in the kitchen, but he loves to grill. But like everyone in my family in general really loves to cook and stuff. And so she got me and my older brother and my sister uh, an eight inch chef's knife. And I was like, this is perfect. I have a six and a 10. Now I have the, the middle sibling as well. <laughs> I was like, so excited. Um, I've never tried this brand, this Imarku. I am a R K U. If you have and you like it, or you know, let me know in the comment section below. I'm pretty excited to get to try this. So I love my chef's knives and my kitchen, kitchen cutlery. I guess kitchen gadgetry. And after trying those guava pastries, I might have gone crazy. And I also got to try arepas, which I've had before in Vegas and stuff. But I looked at ordering pan online, and I know it's two dollars. It's like two to three bucks basically to buy it in the store. If you order it on Amazon, it's great they've got it, but with shipping it's eight. So, I mean, I know the majority of it's being sent towards shipping because it's heavy, but when I was there, they had it not only in white, white corn, but in yellow corn version. So I picked up both <laughs> because I really like a rape of, and I was like, hmm, I got this, so I'm stocked up for the year. So literally, that's what a lot of this was. Like, I was basically stocking up for the year on certain things. Um, I'll probably use more than this if I make some more chocolate bars or whatever, but it was really nice to be able to go home and buy some of the stuff that's harder to get a hold of here and, you know, but yeah. So I was really excited to get to go shopping. So anyways, that is all for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you hanging in. If you have any other suggestions on products you think I'd like, let me know in the comments section below. If not, I'll see you later. Do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.